Hey everybody, Tim here. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can use this custom protractor and ruler that's actually built to scale in Desmos so that the ratio of the ruler length to the Desmos coordinate plane is literally one to one. I'm going to show you how you can actually use these uh, this template to create your own custom activities and make it so that whenever, say, A gets close enough to a point you put on there, it'll force it to lock on. See that? And even point K for the protractor. Boom. All right, and then we can spin you to try to you know measure that angle there. So I'm going to show you how you could take these this custom template here and make your own activities. So just like any um, Desmos activity that I find that I love and I want to see how it's made, I just go here and I copy and edit it. All right, so we'll do that. And now, all right, um, we're going to go to we're going to go to screen again. Screen two and screen three here just pretty much uh, give you two examples of it in action. But the blank canvas is in number one, all right? The ruler and the protractor here together. So I'm gonna click on here to edit the graph, all right? And so now here we have, let me just get rid of this because uh, we don't really need that, those notes there. But see, uh, let's actually plot a couple points here. And let me actually um, put on the grid and the x-axis and the y-axis so we could see where the heck we are, all right? So let's plot two points. Let's actually turn off the protractor. I'll just turn it off here. Everything in the protractor is there so it'll disappear. All right, show, hide. But um, let's actually plot some points. Let's plot a point, let's call it say capital Y equals, again, I, the key for points is labeling. Two, five, we'll put a point there and we'll ca call a point capital Z, we'll call it maybe five, seven. Okay, whoops, there we go. And I'm gonna put these labels on here, but I'm just gonna use letters instead of uh, coordinates because I need to see what the heck I'm doing, all right? In settings here, I like to go ahead and make it a three. I love the fact that we can make it big now. The labels, all right, again, that's the edit list there. That's how we did that. So what I wanna do now is, uh, let's make the segment YZ by cheating and using the polygon tool. Polygon YZ. I know a polygon can't uh, have two vertices, but you know, Desmos, we can kinda cheat and do that, all right? We'll make it a size four. And we'll make this, uh, we'll make this all uniform. Purple and purple here. There we go. All right, so we wanna measure the length of YZ now. Let's zoom a little closer there, okay? So now, the problem becomes is that when A gets close, when A gets close to Y, it's like you can't really tell where it is. I wanna get right on that 0.25. I want the ruler to kinda of lock on, right? So here's how we're gonna do it, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna define a new point, say called, um, I'll call it, uh, say, V, okay? What does it say? Okay, let's see if this works. Three, four. Did I use V yet? No, V is good to use. But I'm not going to call it three, four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to define it. I'm going to define it as a, a several conditions, and the number of conditions I put in this conditional statement is dependent upon the number of points I care about. Like I, a student could put point A on Y, or he or she might go to put it on Z, right? So watch this. V equals. Okay, if the distance uh, between A and what was that first point called? Y. If the distance between A and Y is less than or equal to say four tenths, uh, I want it to, I want point A to simply go, I want point V to simply go to uh, Y. Whoops, I need a colon there. Y. Uh, but let's copy it and paste it. Okay. There's another option here. The students can actually uh, put, put the point, drag point A to Z first, right? And therefore I, I want it to go to Z. Right? Otherwise, if A is not within four tenths, if A is not within four tenths of Y and A is not within four tenths of Z, I just want A to be A. So I'll just put comma and define it at A. You see how we got V is purple? Look at this, look at this. See that? Let me zoom in really close here. So watch this now. I'm gonna move A closer. Oh, do you see that? Now watch point Y. As I get, as watch Y. As I bring A closer, you see how that purple bubble, just that little bubble went on Y there? Now that, and, and by bringing it there, we're gonna now program the ruler to go right to where Y is. And that other point C to be defined uh, appropriately. Okay, so V is important here. In fact, I'm gonna bring this up here uh, below the ruler one. So I know that V goes with the ruler, but I'm gonna do the ruler. I, I don't wanna touch anything in the ruler because it's already programmed like that. But the point A is, notice how A is a free point. I can move A wherever I want. But what is determined here is C and the center of the ruler. The center of the ruler is actually D. So instead of A dot X, see how C is defined in terms of A? 
I'm now going to define it in terms of V instead. All right, so V here and V here. Okay, and now point D is actually the center of the ruler, which is somewhere way over out in the east here. Don't worry about that. But now I just replace capital A's with capital V's. And I'm all set. So let's watch this happen now. Let me hide V, right? And we will uh, hide this. And so watch now. See, ready? Ready? And one, two, three. Ooh, see how it latched right on there? Boom. And now I can move C and measure uh, measure very accurately, actually. Okay. So let's um, let me zoom out here just to see how far is Y Z there, right? There we go. Or if I want to bring if I want to bring this point now, if I bring A close to Z, boom, it latches right on. And now I can measure here. Let's make a distance that we know, like say like a three, four, five triangle. So watch this. I'll bring I'll, I'll have to make Y, I know Y is motion is rigid, but let's put it at one five for ha's. Right? Um, and let's put uh, let's see, one plus four is five, five plus three is eight. So there, right? And let's actually uh, go here to the settings and let's actually lock it so we can't move it. All right. Can't drag Y and Z anymore. That's fixed. But check it out. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's a 3, 4. That, that, that distance should be 5 because I have a 4, 3 here. So look at this. Boom. And voila. There you go. Okay. So that's how you can take that and use uh, the ruler to do that in that blank template. I would recommend it. I would honestly... I would recommend keeping this screen blank and when you go here, just duplicate the screen. Duplicate the screen to make your own activity. So you just want to have a blank reference to go off of, right? So let's go back to the first one there. Now we'll work with the protractor, all right? So now I have Y and Z fixed, right? But let's actually go to the, let's actually go to the, um, let's put the protractor on, take the ruler away, okay? And now um, I need to define another point for the protractor, all right? So let me zoom out here, it's a little big, all right? Let's put another point here. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's put a point, say, 5, 3. We'll measure that angle there. Okay. Um, and we'll call it uh, X, Y, Z, uh, W. Is W being used? Let's see. I can use W. Yes. All right. We'll put a W there. And uh, again, I'll make the labels kind of nice and big. All right, and uh, let's see. Let's let's make polygon Y W. All right, we'll make that segment black. Okay, and we'll make the thickness the same as the other one. I think I put it at a four or something. Okay, and whoops, I want to not be able to drag W there, so keep it there. All right, so now I guess the 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 question is, or right, you know what? Let's do this. Let's make a triangle. Yes, I could have did. I could have said polygon Y W Z and would have made the triangle for me. Probably would have been easier. You know what? Let's just do that. Sorry. All right, here we go. So now we'll do polygon uh, Z W Y triangle. We'll we'll fade it a little bit. Um, let's see. Whoops. Those are those. That's the lines there. Sorry. Ah. Uh, let's see here. Let's, oh, the fill. Let's make it point one tenth or something like that. Make it nice and light. But there we go. Okay. So now I kind of want to find the same. I want to really copy what I did here for the ruler. I'm going to copy that. Select all, copy. And I'm going to go down here and paste it to V. So watch this now. All right. Oops. So what I'm going to do is replace every occurrence of A with K. Because K is that reference point I need. So K. And I can't call it V, I have to call it W. Uh, no, I have to call it, say, um, I'm going to call it W sub 1, underscore 1. So I'm not using anything that I have already. All right, distance KY. I'm going to put it at Y. Again, if K is, um, so every current, A was for the ruler, K is for the protractor. Let's just remember that. All right. And I also need to put another conditional here. Um, distance uh, K... Uh, I did W, Z, K, W, right? Less than or equal to 0 0.4, colon, W. 
otherwise a. So let's, otherwise I want it to be at k, not a, right? See how that green point is right at k now? So watch this. Here we go. Let's let's close. Let's get close to W there. So move K. There we go. There we go. And see how it's on W already. If I get within four tenths of W, that green's going to go to W. And that green point is now going to define. Uh, it's going to lock the protractor. And once I go to the protractor and do what I got to do. Okay. So now, we're going to drag W1 up here. Okay. Whoops. I put it in there actually. But that's all right. So now, what you, for the protractor, what you got to do is change the center and U, okay? Because if you zoom out a little bit, remember, this, the center is hidden here. It's somewhere there, right? The center is right here, but instead of K, see how the center was originally defined in terms of K? I don't want to, I want to define it in terms of the new point, which I call W1, right? So I'll call this W1, W underscore 1. Look for every occurrence of K and replace K with W underscore one right there and right here w underscore one w underscore one and i think this should work let's check it out i'm going to hide w1 now so let's watch let's watch what happens boom locks on but let's try it with the others make sure it works All right here we go yep now I can go ahead and put U there, right? Measure that angle very accurately, right? And the same works uh, for Y, okay? And that's, uh, now we're in edit mode here, but if we actually hit done, we can actually go to preview it to see how it would look. So I mean, now I would want to zoom in and make it bigger, but for activities, that's kind of, that kind of makes it worth it. So. That's how I kind of did it. So again, um, you can start with one of these templates here and uh, I hope this helps.